Greetings to all and welcome to this video on the redesign of our views due to the redesign of our tables. Remember when we were having our tables initially, we had a username at this level and instead we replaced it with a person ID which is now the link between the table admin or the table uh, lecturers or the table students, the link between those three tables and the table person. So we are no more using directly the username. So those has a consequence on the design of our views. Now, we are going to show you two views and how they have changed consequently. Let's start with the view lecturer's detail, whose purpose is to see the title, full name, gender, phone number, and the office number of uh, all the lecturers using the tables, lecturers, and person. Let's go and create that view. We can go back to Apex. In Apex, we go to SQL Workshop, and uh, we know if we go to object browser, we'll see all our objects from the schema in which we are working now. We are saying we want to create views. So let's do create view. Creation of view. Did I click well? Let me click again. Yes. Okay. And we'll be asked the name of the view. Let me just control V. It's lecturer's details. Now, as in the past, we are going to use the query builder. Lecturer's details is being built from the table lecturers. Click on lecturers and from the table persons. And uh, what did we say we wanted? We wanted to have in lecturers the title the full name, the gender. So I have to click on title. I have to click on full name. I have to click on gender. What else did they want? Title, full name, gender. They also wanted the phone number and the office number. So I have to click on phone number and I have to click on office number. Now, what is the foreign key that is going to link these two tables? Is the person ID from here. It is a foreign key linking to there. And that's it. We can return. And our query has been written. Our view has been written. We can now go to the next step. Now that it has been written, we can confirm and create the view. The view has been created. Similarly, we are going to create another view that is to see all the details of the lecturer who is currently logged in. And we are going to use that view using, create that view using the tables lecturers and person now if you want to know who is currently logging in you need to use this condition it's a condition where person dot username is equal to this expression from apex so let's go and start creating i am going to copy the name of the view Go back. Now that I am in Apex, say that I want to create a view. What is the name of the view? I will paste it. Control V. I have pasted my view. Then Query Builder will help me to build that view. Which table did we say we want to build it from? We want to build it from the table lecturers and the table person so i have to choose those two tables 
lecturers and click on person so those are the two tables now from here i want to know what are the attribute they say all the details all the details so let me take the title of the lecturer his or her office number then i also want to know the username maybe not i want to know the full name i want to know the phone and i want to know the gender so those are the title the office number the full name the and the gender let me add the person id because it might be handy when i want to use it later on at this stage i have to do my link between the two tables this is the foreign key and that one is the other key from here i can now go to run it this table will give me all the details except for the lid let me click i am returning we have all the details from here i can go to next now that we go to next, I'm going to create. The view has been created. Now, we still have to come and add the code, this part of the code. Person dot equal. So I'm going to copy the code. We said we need a similar extra condition, similar to that one. So I'm copying the code. Why do we need it? because we want to know the person who is currently logged in. So I'm going to copy the code, control C, from there, go back to, let me close this one, go back to Apex, to my view. When I'm in my view, I can see here code. After clicking on code, I can see the code is here and I need to put that condition which is saying person dot username. So at that level I can say and the condition control V. Yes, person dot username equal apex and so on so on. We know the table person we know the table lecturers so we are able to do this condition let me just put the equal closer to make sure that the equals are done from there what do i do i can save and compile it has been successfully compiled and i can now go back to just see what's going on if i want to see the data i can go to the data to see my view there is no data for now the same with the lecturers there is no data for now if i want to see the data but later on we'll populate our database with data and you'll see the data for these two views i think we are done with the views the part in green is what we wanted to show just because the design has been changed on the level of the foreign keys instead of usernames as foreign keys we are now using person ids we thank you